This is the final question in this set. This is question number, I, I forgot the number, is it 98? Yeah, it's 98. Find the equation of the following two sequences in first term, quote, first term form. Um, so A, I can, you know, if I look at that 100 to 10, I could say, oh, I'm subtracting 90. But if I take 10 and subtract 90, um, I'm at negative 80 and I'm supposed to be at one. So this is not um, this is not an arithmetic sequence. This is geometric, and each time I'm dividing by ten, or I can think of it as I'm multiplying by one tenth, right? So if I was to write this not in first term form but just equation form, it would look like y is equal to um, remember it's a a times b to the x. I'm starting out at one hundred. Um, my multiplier is either you know I could write it as a fraction. It's one tenth, right? Or it's just um, point, point one zero, right? or point zero point zero. So multiplying that's a, that's one tenth, and then to the x power. Now that's not first term form though, right? That's just the equation. If I put in zero, it would give me the correct value for the first term. In first term form, when you put in one, because you want to know what the first term is, when I put in one, it should give me one hundred. This is not going to give me 100 if I put in 1. It's going to give me the number 10. So first term form looks like this. And I think our textbook uses t. But it's the function t of n, where n is the term number. right? It's the number. And uh, that equals, and you can see everything's the same. It's 100 times 0.1. The only thing that's different, instead of writing x, I'm going to write to the n minus 1 power. right? So if I raise. Um, my multiplier to the n minus 1 power, that, that adjusts for it, it makes it the first term. So you can see now, uh, for this, when n is equal to 1, when I plug 1 into this function, um, then that value of 1 gets substituted in right here, where every, every place there is an n. So that becomes uh, 1 minus 1, which is 0, 0. 0.10 to the 0 power, right? I have here 0. 0.10 to the zero power is equal to one. So this becomes 100 times one, which is 100. So you can see the point is when n is one, this function produces um, the, the answer of 100. So that is my first term form. Um, the, the other problem is not arithmetic, or I'm sorry, it's not geometric, it is arithmetic. And each time I'm decreasing by um, the number 50, so it's, it's arithmetic y equals mx plus b. Um, what, m here is how much I'm decreasing or increasing by each time. I'm going down by 50 units. And there's my x. And the place where I'm starting out is 0. So I actually don't need to write that down. So this is the function, right? Or the, that's the equation y equals negative 50x plus 0. If I write this in first term form, right? When n is 1, it should produce a, a value of 0. And you can see it won't. It'll produce a value of, uh, right now, if I put in the, if I put in x as 1, it's going to give me the negative 50. So if I want to shift this over to first term form, it's going to be that, that negative 50 again. But this time, it, it's still at the n minus 1. So you can see here, when I want to go to my um, first term form, instead of using n, or x rather, it, I just shift it to an n minus 1. Uh, same thing on the other side. Instead of writing an x, I shift that to an n minus 1. So I just shift it back 1, and it, it makes the adjustment. So that's the end of this problem set.